Hey y'all, Nestor Andrews here. Stay tuned on this episode of Dream Chasers Nashville. Watching Dream Chasers Nashville. I'm Jordan Carter and this is Kara Jennings. And we're here in our buddy Robert Burgess's studio called House of Music. I want to thank our sponsors Purina, Daisy Alexandria Designs, and uh, we're here with our buddy Nestor Andrus. How are you doing, Nestor? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Way to just bring the mood down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's just the way you got to live. It's terribly awesome. Everything's just awesome. <laughs> I like that. Terribly awesome. I've got to remember this. Everything out of Nestor's mouth is sarcastic, which is why we like him so much, that's right? correct. Yes. I know. He's already like messed with, me, with messed with me so much today. Anyway, yeah. You got to have fun. <laughs> hey, Nestor, tell us what brought you to Nashville and, you know, got you into music. It's a really cool story, and it, and it goes back. Um, I, I learned to play guitar and I found that I could sing in college, you know, but mostly uh, it wasn't ever an idea or, or even a dream or anything that I thought would come out to be this way, but it did. And, and slowly but surely, you know, naturally it just kind of played out that way. And I got invited to do a whole bunch of different things and opportunities and I fell in love. And that's what it is. It's a love story. And... Um, I came here in 2013 now, um, late 2013, and it was really cool because I had gotten invited from a mutual friend who was playing with uh, some of George Strait's band members, wow. and uh, we're and they I got invited to play in, uh, or to sh to join them in a show on the outskirts of San Antonio, and they're like, "You must be Nestor," and I'm like, "It's me," <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, well, you know, would you like to come play a few songs?" I'm like, "Hell yeah." Gosh. <laughs> and and they sat me down. They're like, Nestor, you need to get out of here, wow. get out of Texas. Because at this point, I had already started to play at different festivals, different shows, different events. Opened up for a lot of my favorite Texas country artists, and it was a lot of fun. Like I said, it was uh, it was developing into something where I had the utmost respect for what it meant to really live for the music mm -hmm. and let the music live with you, you know, and within you, and what you do and how you do it. And, they're like, get out of here. Go to Nashville now because you need to be in the scene. Wow. Like people mm -hmm. need to experience mm -hmm. you, you know, and, and that was one of the coolest things. And I mean, within a few months, I had packed everything up and come on. Well, I feel yeah. like I want to thank those guys because you are, you know, such a great addition to Nashville. Thank I you. mean, you have such a great personality, obviously a passion <laughs> for music. So, yeah, you know. that's pretty amazing too, man. You're a heck of a songwriter too, an thank entertainer. You, and everything else too, man, definitely. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. gotta be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I want to also thank our mutual friend, Carrie Lewicka. Love Carrie. Yeah. You love her, because she's your manager. She is. She's our buddy and introduced <clears throat> us to you, so. She's an angel. Yeah, how, how has she made an impact on your career? <clears throat> well, I call her my little polar bear, because she, she does, she cares, she's a care bear. She, she cares so much, and, and um, as passionate as I am about making music and, and how much respect I have for the music and, and the art of it. and She cares so much to bring that passion out in representation of who I am and what I am and how I do what I do. And she's just on point about everything. Yeah, that's awesome too to have somebody like that on your team too. That, Absolutely. That, that you know, can read you like that and you know, knows yeah. kind of you know, what you're going after too and can jump right on board to help you build that dream. Absolutely. It's totally amazing stuff for sure, man. It's awesome. And I, you know, that's something too. Since you've been to town, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs and stuff like that. I guess what's been, you know, some of like the struggles or challenges and stuff like that you've had to go through. Wait, there's struggles in the music industry? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, it's, it's all uh, rainbows and butterflies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, you know, one of the biggest struggles is um, identification, you know. You come to town thinking you know it all. Or you, you thinking that you know everything about yourself. But you come to town and there's just so many amazing talents and, um, my, one of the struggles that I had to deal with in the sense of being okay with not being able to be everything for everybody, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And just capitalizing on who you are because that's the most important thing, mm -hmm. you yeah. know? And it's really becoming your biggest, your own biggest fan. 
and yeah. making sure that you you execute that and every, everything. Yeah, you know, that's one thing. Actually, I've noticed, too. It's like, you know, you get to town and stuff like that, and, you know, you're out doing your own thing, playing your shows and stuff like that, yeah. and you get to town, and people's like, well, you know, maybe try doing it this way mm -hmm. or try doing it this way. And it's like, you know, really what I've learned, and like you were saying, it's like just stay true to yourself. Yeah. Do what you do, write your songs, you know, be your own artist the way you want to be. Absolutely. You know, that's, yeah. that's really cool. I've heard you say that before, and you're so <laughs> right. You really have to be very confident in who you are and yourself. Yeah. Uh, and if, if not, develop it quickly when you yeah, get here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, of course, we know it's not all negative. There's a lot of good things that happen in the industry, too. Absolutely. What have been some of the, you know, positives that have happened to you? Um, I think being in this town, most because there's just so many people here that are just as passionate, you know, um, and just getting together and building relationships and friendships and with colleagues, um, whether they're musicians, singers, songwriters, all the above, it's it's the spirit of being here and knowing that uh, you have that the, the capability of making an impact. Yeah. But the biggest thing is. Everybody's going to make an impact. It's all it, all. it all depends on yourself, and in the individual, what kind of an impact that mm -hmm. that you're going to have. And it's really cool to be a positive one. Oh yeah, that's true. You know, and so if you could, you know, speak to some of those people who, you know, probably watching this from all over the country and thinking, you know, I'd like to follow in Nestor's footsteps, maybe mm -hmm. move to Nashville. You know, what advice would you give to them? What What would you say that you've learned? Um. Come come with a come with a vision. Come with a plan. Come. Um, with your roots planted deep mm -hmm. because uh, the wave here is so strong that you have to have full confidence in who you are and what you're about and what you want to share with the world you mm -hmm. know what I mean and that, that's really what it is and don't don't let anybody else hold the pen to your story wow you know yeah. what that's I mean? really good yeah yeah that's definitely cool man and I know you've been in the studio working the stuff and yeah, you just man. released some oh, uh, stuff out on the <laughs> internet and all over the place dude so you know it's I'm just so I can't, I can't find the words, you know, I can't find the, the word to really express the excitement yeah. and the eagerness and the anxiety and the sleepless nights yeah. and the thought to, <laughs> to share this, you yeah. know, because, yeah. uh, and I, I posted my last night of um, laying down the vocal for the last track, you know, I went home and, and I prayed for about 30 minutes, just how thankful I was because uh, however it's received, I'm proud to say that it's mine. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and, and I'm just really, I'm just grateful for the whole team, for the production team, the band, um, other songwriters that I worked with on on the, on the tracks, and it's just mm -hmm. amazing. So uh, I'm just really excited about it, and it's a beautiful album. It's uh, very positive, very enthusiastic, and heck, man, it's about falling in love. That's the name of the album, and it's not not so much, and not just about falling in love with an individual, but with a moment, a sound, you know, a memory, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, something. It's just just living yeah. and falling in love. That's awesome. How are we going to be able awesome. to find this album and how can we support you? Well, I'm definitely going to have hard copies, mm -hmm. a lot of hard copies, <laughs> but it's going to be on all the online distributions and, you know, the iTunes, yeah. Google Play, Spotify and all that okay. good stuff. Yeah. Awesome. And you're listed on social media, I notice, as Nestor Andres TX, right? Texas, yes. TX. Texas man. Yeah, I yeah. mean, who could forget that? For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And what are you going to play for us today? Well, um, I have to play, I want to play you this song, and this song is a game changer in the record because um, initially we had already finished and I wrote this song and I showed it to my producer and he's like, Nestor, this has to be on the record. A little tune called When You Lie. Remember that conversation that we had about the plans to get away That was yesterday And the day before you said you'd go anywhere as long as I was there Now that's all change After everything you're gonna throw away I just want to see you say That you miss me You miss me not being around Tell me that you love me No, I don't care to hear the sound I'm not trying to find a reason To stay, no, not this time I just want to see what you look like When you lie 
when you lie. Oh, when you lie. What's killing me is that I believe in every single word. Damn, girl, it hurts. And as your man, how was I to plan of letting go? When you're my whole world After everything you're gonna throw away I just wanna see you say That you miss me You miss me not being around Tell me that you love me No, I don't care to hear the sound I'm not trying to find a reason to stay no not this time I just want to see what you look like when you lie When you lie After everything you're going to throw away why do I still want to see you say That you miss me You miss me not being around Tell me that you love me No, I don't care to hear the sound I'm not trying to find a reason To stay, no, not this time I just want to see what you look like When you lie Oh, when you Oh, when you lie All right, That was beautiful. Was awesome, Thank you. I see why your Thank producer you. said put that on the record. You gotta put it. Well, it's just because it's, it's, it's a lot different from the other songs. And, uh, yeah. and uh, I, I'm, I just really wanted to give them the full round experience because, uh, you know, when you fall in love, there's a big chance that it, that it might not work out, but that's okay, mm. you know. And uh, in that song, I fell in love, but I I, um, I felt strong enough to say that I loved fully. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, I wanted to hear. I didn't want to hear. I wanted to see, the, you know, her say that she loved me and that she missed me because I wanted to recognize what a liar looked like. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Guys need to listen up. Um, I'm gonna. I can't wait to hear your new music. Thank you so much. That was really Jill. great. I can't yeah. wait for yeah. everybody to hear it well, thanks, and experience it. Yeah. No. Well, thanks for being out here. Oh, pleasure's mine. Enjoy talking with you, and we're gonna watch out for great things from Mr. Andrus. That's right. T X Texas man. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much, thanks, Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> Thank you for watching Dream Chasers Nashville. Please go to our website, carterfamilyentertainment.com. Follow us online as well as Nestor Andrus. Keep chasing your dreams. <laughs>